Hey everyone, welcome back to another ServiceNow Quebec Quickies. It is so good to have you here. This video is brought to you by DotWalk.io. DotWalk.io is the maker of Bootstrap, an AI-powered way to populate ServiceNow ATF with test cases based on the actual experiences in your ServiceNow system. I love this tool because it relieves the most labor-intensive part of ServiceNow ATF without requiring you to adopt some new framework. Check out the description below and see why .io is my most compelling use case for AI in the ServiceNow ecosystem. And Aldis International. Aldis is a staffing company serving the ServiceNow ecosystem by focusing on community, collaboration, and mentorship. Just check out their podcasts, AI in Action and AI Mentors, which in my opinion are great productions paying it forward within the ServiceNow ecosystem. Check out the links below and get in touch with director Ben Sparks and see why Aldis is one of my few endorsed staffing agencies. This episode is about a scorching red hot new dev tool called Script Tracer. Script Tracer is a super low friction way to watch all the server side consequences of any given transaction. Let's see it in action. First, we're going to search the navigator bar for Script Tracer. This will open up in a new window and we're going to say Start Tracer. Now we're going to create a new incident. I'm just gonna put a caller of Larry Fleming, short description of test, and I'm gonna submit the incident. Let's go tr check on the script tracer. On its own, it's logged out all the consequential business rules, including business rules whose update triggered further business rules. Not only that, but it's flagged areas where there were problems. So we see with this question query, there's an error that RP is not defined. Let's out, check out the part of the script where that's a problem. Let's show the full script. And it's important to note that wherever you are, you can actually view the file that contains that script. So I'm clicking view file, and that's taking me to the business rule where that error was logged. This is unprecedented developer troubleshooting power, but the savvy amongst you might be asking, how is this different from script debugger? Well, Script Debugger requires you to establish log points and breakpoints. Script Tracer is far more passive and just allows you to log the consequences of each transaction. So in the Duke's opinion, Script Tracer is best for general discovery of transactional consequence, whereas Script Debugger is for very specific logging of what specific scripts are running. 